All right, guys, so the, so we already covered what we use inside of the unit as far as other pieces go, but here's the Tecum for a 6L80 or a 6L90 transmission. This is the Trans Electro Control Hydraulic uh, Module. So this actually has the, the TCM integrated into the solenoids as well. So if one of these solenoids fails, this is only serviceable as an assembly. Many rebuilders out there probably know this. This also requires programming. Um, and then you have pressure switches on here that can be rebuilt, as well as a filter plate that is serviceable. GM reuses Tecums in GM Certas. They do. And what they do actually is they wipe this clean. They wipe the TCM or the trans module clean, but they will reuse this solenoid pack so even though the characterization or the genealogy of the programming data is different inside of this techo the solenoids that they use on here are still the original ones and the reason i know this is because i've had gm certas that have solenoid failure um at right after you replace the transmission they might you might drive it for two days and it'll come back with some condition Sometimes it can even be to where there will be no codes, but the moment this unit reaches a certain temperature, the unit will, will rev up and slam intermittently. And what that is actually is that is a solenoid that is failing, but it's not registering. You have no check engine light. You take the unit apart, you look in the valves, you look at internal components, and there's nothing wrong that's obvious. So the way you test that is you put this on a pressure, on a plate that they actually have a special tool and put air to this, and it would identify the leaking solenoids. But if it only does it at a certain temperature, and people know this, that with heat, things such as cracks or failures like to expand, and heat also causes electric pieces to act up or fail, it's really difficult to duplicate that, okay? So what I like to do is if I'm doing my rebuild that is comparable, once again, to a GM Serta, it's getting a tech up. So that way I know it will make it three years or 100,000 miles with either no, with no issues. Okay, so that's, that's kind of why we put, and this is expensive. This is anywhere from six to 700 or even $1,000. But if you're gonna replace this and the person that you're rebuilding this for is traveling out of state or just, it's, it's going to be a, a quality rebuild, you need to replace the tech on assembly, okay? And that about does it for this. We're gonna get all this, we're gonna get all this put together.